Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Well. Uh, we're continuing our look through Proverbs today and um, we're up to Proverbs 11, which is an amazing proverb full of such wisdom and insight. Um, and we're going to be looking at the theme of giving and generosity. So we're going to start at verse 24. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. People curse those who hold their grain, but they bless the one who sells in times of need. Now, as you're probably aware, the Bible talks about this, um, about money and possessions um, so much. In fact, it's mentioned over 2,000 times. And Jesus, he taught on it so much. Um, many of his parables, nearly half of them, um, were to do with money. And he used that the principle of money to talk about spiritual truths. Um if we look at that verse 24, give freely and become more wealthy. Um, looking at the American Standard Version, um, it says, um, there is one who scatters and yet increases all the more. And there's one who withholds what is justly due and yet it results only in want. So basically by not giving, it results in wanting more. And our culture now is built on the premise about um, gaining money and more stuff and more possessions just to feel happy feel secure and to, to give us comfort. Uh, the American billionaire Rockefeller, he was um, alive in the early 1900s and still one of the richest people in modern society. Um, he was once asked by a reporter, how much money is enough? And his response was, just a little bit more. Now that really resonated with me um, as I've had times where maybe I've had a, a, a pay rise or something like that and um, it's been met with dissatisfaction. I've sort of thought, oh, if only you could have a little bit more. And um, Solomon, who wrote this proverb, um, it was clearly something he knew about already. He had encountered that. Um, and, and he writes about those principles here. We also see it in Jesus's life. Um, Jesus was just great at um, bringing up topics um, which um, were weighing people down and just turning them on its head. Um, bringing in the kingdom principle of giving um, is just so exciting. Um, and he says in Luke 6, uh, give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. I just love this. This is just such, um, this is kingdom of heaven. It's upside down. It's countercultural. By giving, you will receive so much more. And that doesn't just mean um, you will receive that money back. It, it, it often does. It often means sometimes you receive back more. Sometimes you don't. But the the heart, um, the change in your heart and um, that you receive, um, that's also what he's talking about. The change in character, the, the um, change in uh, the closeness you feel with the father that you gain through through giving is, is also what he's talking about and it's not just a bit more it's pressed down it's running over it's poured over um actually what we went through a period as a family um about a year ago where um for, for a few months i didn't have any regular income um and so we were trying to budget and i was looking at the budget and and, and if i'm honest the first thing i was looking at was well we could look at that tithe that the money we give uh, to others, to the church, if we just held that back for a few months, then actually we could maybe make things work and we could live as a family. Um, and I felt really challenged at the time. I felt the father say to me, no, I want you to carry on giving. I want you not to reduce your giving. I want you just to give freely, as he said in Luke 6, continue to give freely. Now, this is a real step of faith for us. Um, um, but we did it. We um, kept our tithe as it was. We continued to give as we had been in previous months. And um, over that period, um, I'm not exaggerating now, but we were actually financially better off um, than we had been in the previous months. Um, just money from uh, different sources. Um, and it was incredible. Um, and I really felt um, uh, just just challenged on my heart response to, to money and to giving. and. We, can, we speak about it a lot, about being a generous giver and being generous um, with our money. Um, money does often, we just need to see it as a river that flows and, and live with an open hand um, to things that we're given. 
and as it says in the in the proverb here um the generous will prosper those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed and it is such a refreshing thing to to give in terms of finance in terms of our talents and our time and so um we are to ki- we are to give we're called to be generous and we're also called to called to do that um cheerfully as well so as jesus said freely you have received freely give so be blessed today enjoy being generous and enjoy the gift of giving